Welcome back, guys. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to use Make Beliefs Comics to create your own little comic strip. Uh, remember, you guys are going to be making your own comic strips to illustrate a specific literary turn uh, or uh, element. So we're at MakeBeliefsComics.com. It's a free uh, web page. And the thing that's cool about this page is that you don't have to sign up. You don't have to pay anything. And it's really, uh, you know, cut and paste here. So as you see, here's the uh, template or the layout here. Uh, they have a cast of characters down at the bottom for you to choose from. And it's a wide range of different kinds of characters you can use. So if you want to be funny or a little bit serious uh, and every character has three different poses or emotions. So you're going to have a bunch of different things to choose from as far as characters to populate your comic strip. Um, as you can also see, uh, you can give them different dialogue boxes or thought bubble uh, boxes as well. You can illustrate each panel using the illustration box that you guys are familiar with. Uh, you can add color to the backgrounds uh, and you can pick how many boxes you want uh, between two, three and four. You can also pick different elements like scenes or props to add into your comic. Uh, but for this comic that we're going to make, um, we're actually going to use uh, the three panel layout. So we're going to stick with that. It's a classic layout. And I'm going to go ahead first and add uh, a little bit of background color to each um, panel. You don't necessarily have to do that, but it does make it a little bit more interesting. And there's not, nothing to say that I'm going to stay with those uh, colors. Next, I'm going to go with the character that I want to use to illustrate my uh, strip. I'm going to go with this uh, Ratso Rizzo looking guy. I kind of like his look. And you see he has three different poses to choose. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the panel that I want him to be in, which is that first panel that's highlighted in red. And I double click on uh, that character and he pops up into the uh, panel. All right now, I can decide whether I want to, you know, narrate this this uh, first panel here, like you guys are used to seeing every uh, comic that we have. There's a little bit of narr narration in uh, one of the panels there. I'm going to choose the one where I can type in whatever I want. And, you know, I have to illustrate some kind of a element, but I'm going to try to make this as comic-like as I can. So at the top, I'm going to type in uh, maybe that Ratso was late for class. Um, that's something that a lot of you guys can uh, relate to. So why not go ahead and go with that as my main element? So now that I have that figured out, now I got to figure out something for him to say. And, you know, we only have three panels here and we have to kind of get across some kind of an idea. So, you know, you want to be, you know, a little bit concise in your, in your uh, choice of words. So as you see, there's different sizes of uh, thought bubbles and they have different, oh, I'm sorry, uh, dialogue bubbles and they have different tales kind of show which direction the character's facing. So this one's the best for this layout. I'm gonna go ahead and type in a little bit of dialogue here. I'm gonna talk about how uh, this character has to uh, give an example of some kind of literary element. Uh, I'm not gonna be as creative as you guys are. So uh, I'm just kind of straightforward here. So I just typed in some stuff there, you know, and if you notice that you have a lot of words, you can always uh, go and add a bigger uh, word or dialogue bubble there as well. So I'm satisfied with that first panel. And, uh, you know, I decided I don't really like the green background. So I'm going to look for some props or maybe even a little bit of scenery to add uh, behind my character to kind of make it a bit more interesting. I just kind of uh, implied that he's late for class or late for school. So why not find a little scene that's outside of a classroom? Um, and, you know, this is one of those things where it's uh, has some limitations. It is a free, um, you know, user friendly uh, interface. So it, since it's free, there's not like a ton of customization here, but there is a cool scene that we can do there. And it's in black and white. But, you know, when you guys go to the share part, you can print it out. So I'm going to go ahead and put the character in the second panel. And I gave him a different um pose here different face you can make them as far away from the camera as you like or as, as close to the camera we're gonna kind of talk this this as if it was a film you know when you're making these panels so you can zoom in on the character or uh, zoom out i'm gonna make him the same size as he was um in the other uh one and i'm gonna move him some side to side here using their move tool to kind of add some dynamism to the 
uh, panels. So it's not all, you know, cookie cutter and, and regular. And I figured to kind of show that he's a little bit anxious, I'm going to flip him, just kind of show that he's uh, kind of maybe pacing or he's impatient. Uh, so, you know, that's two things you guys can uh, do here to kind of customize your comic. And now I'm ready to add some more uh, text in here. And we're going to add that bubble in and kind of uh, populate the uh, dialogue bubble with a little bit more dialogue here. And, you know, this is a, a bit of a long video, but it's a step by step video because I really want you guys to see, you know, step by step uh, what to do here. And, and uh, you can move the bubble around and kind of give. Uh, the character's face a bit more of a feature in the panel. I'm going to just type in here um, that he maybe needs to figure out what he's going to do or say as his example of a literary element. And if you notice here, it's actually really easy to do. I'm, uh, I'm already, you know, two thirds of the way done with this comic. And, you know, just because it's uh, easy you know, quick doesn't mean that you have to, um, you know, stress about what to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with my third panel. I'm going to keep the same background because he's still in the same place. I'm going to go ahead and pick my character here and give him another, you know, pose here. And you kind of can see that the range this is kind of the power of comics, see the range of the different emotions he's going through. In the beginning, he was confused. He didn't know what to do. In the second panel, he's maybe a little bit of a scowl there to kind of show that he's angry. And now in this third uh, panel here, I'm going to, you know, do a little bit of something different. To kind of show, hey, he's a bit more triumphant. He's figured this out. And this is basic uh, comic 101. You kind of show a little bit of dynamism, a little bit of difference here. So since I'm going to say that the uh, element that this comic was supposed to illustrate was irony, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say something like, um, I got it. The irony of this example is that uh, I am supposed to illustrate uh, irony and my example, I am the irony. This entire comic strip is ironic that this person can't think of uh, how to illustrate irony. And yet he is the illustration of irony. Listen, guys, I'll admit that's a little lame, but, you know, it, it's a good example of, uh, you know, what, what you can accomplish using um, this format. So while I get done typing this up, I'm going to go ahead and say, OK, I've got the thought that I want to uh, get across here done. I'm going to do a little just check, kind of read through it and review what I have here. It's all right. First panel is good. Second panel is good. Do I want to add any narration. No, I think I'm OK. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the next step so you see there's a couple steps here there's a review step where if you want to you can kind of go back and say hey i want to edit something here there's a print step which will definitely be a part of what you guys do especially if you want to uh color it and then the big thing that you guys are going to do next is to email you're going to email this uh to me as a digital means of sharing this project uh so of course you'll put your First and last name. You can't get credit without giving us your name, people. So I'm gonna put student uh, name here and student I the student uh, email here. Then at the bottom, you're gonna put my email, which is my first and last name at chsd218.org. So uh, you, you'll see that on my uh, school fusion page as well, so you know where to send this stuff. And that's pretty much it, guys. Just using make believe comics. You're gonna hit the email comic page, and then you're done. Congratulations, you have.